Welcome everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about what do you need to do or want to do if you think you have bed bugs. Now obviously there's a lot of different reasons why people can think they have bed bugs. They woke up with bites that they can't explain, whether it's on their arms, shoulder, neck, or face, or they found a bug and you know they're not sure what it is. But the bottom line is, is obviously the first thing you need to do if you think you have bed bugs is if you have a bug, get it identified by somebody who's knowledgeable on the topic, whether it's a pest control company, a university extension office, anybody who's familiar with entomology, the study of bugs, and can actually properly identify bugs. You want somebody who knows what they're doing to take a look at it because, believe it or not, there are some bugs that can easily be confused with bed bugs. And so if you have a bug, it's very easy. You just need to get it to somebody who knows what they're doing in regards to identifying bugs. Now, if you think you might have bugs because of bites, but you haven't actually found anything, let's talk about what you need to do. And so what we have here is obviously I'm in a hotel room, um, so let's just pretend like this is a residential setting, whatever the case may be. Here we have a bed, and so the first thing that you're going to need to do is obviously conduct an inspection. Now what most people think when they look at beds and they think about bed bugs is that if they just quickly pull the sheets up and they look at the ribbing on the mattress, if there's bugs there they will see them. Obviously first off these bugs are very small. Um, they do leave signs behind, but a lot of times they're in hard to find areas unless you have a very significant problem. And obviously if most people are finding bites but aren't sure if they have a problem, it's going to be a very low level problem, meaning like there's going to only be a handful of bugs there. And so just pulling the sheets up and looking at the sheets in the top of the mattress, although it's a good starting point, may not indicate whether or not bed bugs are there. Because what's going to happen is, is that when the bugs hide, they're going to want to hide in a very dark, uh, hard to find uh, place within that bed and that's most commonly the box spring. And so in order to properly do an inspection you need to take the mattress, strip it, obviously take the sheets off, uh, flip the mattress up and then stand the box spring up and you really need to get to the bottom of that box spring. Uh, we have a video online how to inspect an actual bed for bed bugs so I'm not going to do that in this video. We will link that video in the description of this video and you can click on that to see how to properly inspect an actual mattress or box spring. And so you're going to stand that mattress up, stand that box spring up, look for a spotting, which is often referred to as fecal material as bed, from bed bugs, the bugs themselves. And you're going to look in the corners of the box spring or underneath the dust cloth itself. Another very common area that bed bugs hide is behind headboards. Um, so if you have a headboard, you want to take a look at the back of that headboard or the bottom surface of that headboard. Those are very common areas that bugs hide. Now, Know that when you do an inspection of a bed, if you only have a couple bed bugs there, it's very easy to miss that, even for a knowledgeable professional like myself. Our own research has indicated that 50, I should, let me rephrase that, 30 to 50% of the time there are 20 bugs or less, knowledgeable professionals will miss that on an inspection. So you, you know, being a homeowner or whoever you may be, you know, it's very easy to miss if there's only five bugs there. So. What you can follow up your inspection with if you don't find bed bugs are monitors. And here we have a blackout, which is an under the leg interception device. There are others out there. I actually designed this one. And as I said, there are others out there so you can do your research. But you can put this under the legs of a bed or couch and leave it in place for two weeks or more. Research has indicated that this will detect all infestations 95% of the time or better within two weeks of installation. So obviously it's not the quick answer you might be looking for, but it is a fairly quick answer. And so let's say I conduct my visual inspection, I don't find anything, I would recommend taking these and installing these under the leg of the beds. Every single leg should receive one of these. And then just check them periodically. Over time, these will collect dust in this trap well. You need to clean those trap wells out with a microfiber cloth every two to four weeks to make sure they're clean and the bugs can't get out. Another device you can consider is the Volcano, which is a standalone device. This doesn't go under the legs of the bed and just actually slides under the bed on each side of it. These will detect 80% of all infestations within four weeks. So it takes a little bit more time, detects a few less infestations, but you don't have to clean this device and it doesn't have to go into the legs of the bed. 
In addition to that, there is the active lure, which uh, mimics sweat, which we know bugs are attracted to. And you can take this and put it in and it, under the leg interception device to increase the catch or within the volcano itself or other devices such as glue boards to increase the chance that you detect bed bugs if they are present. And so the bottom line is monitors can help you uh, get a better understanding of whether or not bed bugs are there. And again, those monitors are going to take two to four weeks potentially and just check them periodically. But it will increase the chance that you detect bed bugs if they are in fact there. And the last thing I recommend to people is just keep an eye on things if you think you have bed bugs. Let's say you do the inspection, you don't find anything, you have some bites you can't explain. Do periodic inspections once a week. Keep an eye on it. And lastly, if you do have unexplained reactions, See your dermatologist, see your doctor, you know, ask them what it might be. Doctors, and this is an important one, cannot tell you that you have bed bugs by looking at a bite on your arm, shoulder, neck, face, or whatever the case may be. So if your doctor tries to do that, just be aware that you can't definitively say that bite is from bed bugs. Uh, you can say it looks like a bed bug bite. Uh, you can say there's a good chance you might have bed bugs, but not that you have bed bugs. It's impossible to do. And so that's what to do if you think you have bed bugs. Visual inspection, bottom of the box spring, back of the headboard, monitors to increase the chance you detect them. Stay calm. Um, if you find bed bugs, it's not the end of the world. You can get rid of them fairly, fairly efficiently and effectively, especially if you catch it early on. If you have any questions, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com, and I hope to see everybody soon enough.